Here's a, an, an extreme example of a, of a double stop. It's like a double double stop. And this, I learned this off of a Hendrix record. I can't, uh, it's in the style of Hendrix anyways. And what it is is you, uh, you're grabbing two strings at the same time with your pinky or your third finger, however you play, on the E and B string. So it's you're stretching up the C and then grabbing the B string. <laughs> So again, it's so basically, when I attack this note, the first thing I'm doing is I'm hitting it with my thumb, and it gets kind of a muted effect that way. And uh, an upstroke, and then when I grab the B string, another upstroke with the pick. Second, when I hit the string the second time, I'm hitting both strings, ideally. The thing is, when, when, you, when you're bringing that note down, those two notes down, you're getting sort of two harmonics. You're getting the fundamental note descending, and then you're getting the kind of secret harmonic that's ascending at the same time. So it's just, and they're both kind of crossing paths, so it's like, again. one of those things when you hear somebody do they're like how the hell are they doing that it's not in any songbook it's not part of theory and somebody just stumbled across it once a long time ago in the 60s or the 70s and uh, it's one of those things that are very hard to teach somebody and very hard to emulate but uh, and and if you can go beyond that and find your own versions of things like that then then you're sort of establishing new ground and, and creating your own thing in your own voice. And that's easier to easier said than done, but that would be the idea. If, every, if we could all do that, we'd all be in a better place as guitar players because we'd be creating something instead of recreating something.